Oh yeah, we're uh, you know we're excited. Um, I'm I mean coming out first half, just got to work out the first game, first season uh, back jitters. But uh, once we got that out of our system, I felt like we played we played poised, we played well, executed on offense, played well on defense, uh, stuck to the game plan, and that's all you can ask for at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, well the same. I mean, it's it's good to finally play somebody else. Obviously, we got two uh, two scrimmages in a close scrimmage, and then exhibition against Newberry. But it's nice to finally go go head to head with somebody else, and so that's been fun. Our scout team is been kicking our tail a little bit the last few days. They are fast, and so it's uh, it's fun to play somebody who doesn't know our stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amen. <clears throat> uh, PJ came out in the second half firing. Like Alex mentioned, just kind of had to get the jitters up for everybody a little bit. Lynn was on the basket, but you guys cruised in the second half offensively. Just what kind of flip? Just, you know, getting comfortable. Obviously, when you get out there, you got so much adrenaline. I mean, you're so ready to go. You, I mean, you, it's almost impossible to get tired in the first half because you're just ready to go out there and fight. And so, uh, Coming out in the second half, you're already you got your blood flowing, you got your uh, your breath, and so you're just kind of a little calmer, a little calmer and more settled in. Yeah. And these guys, obviously, they help you find shots. So a lot of them were layups close to the rim, and maybe see it go through the basket. It helps helps everybody shoot. Yeah. Alex, you uh, been out for a while, and injuries and stuff like that. How to sort of get out there and just get a rhythm and just play basketball? Oh yeah, words don't even really describe how how great it felt. Um, you know, it was kind of just a. It was a long, grueling kind of year and a half, just getting my body right and getting mentally in the right mental state um, to be out there and, and to compete. Uh, but yeah, it was really just felt awesome. Felt awesome. You guys possess the ball so much, even when you're trying to find your bearings as a team in the first half. You're still passing the ball a lot. Mm-hmm. Just kind of want to switch to get that into the basket and start drawing. Is that something that really has been an emphasis? Yeah, uh, it's one of our biggest strengths. I mean, we got so many guys that can shoot the ball, so many guys that can score. I mean, like eight, nine, ten guys that can go in there and get a bucket. And so having guys like that that are willing to pass as well is one of our biggest strengths. And we got Joe Girard, who was leading scorer coming back from the ACC, and he had like four or five assists. Um, some, yeah. I'm not yeah. I'm not trying to read it fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I think it was four or five. Yeah. He, so he, we had uh, 21 as a team too. Yeah, so, so it, uh, I mean, it comes almost naturally for us, even though we're a, a great scoring team. Jack. Oh yeah, hundred oh, yeah. percent. Yeah, I mean, shoot. Whenever, whenever he was out on the sideline, you see him all the time, just shooting, working on that jump shot, making sure that it's in prime form for when he came back. And you guys got to got to see a little glimpse of it tonight. Excited yeah. for for him to get really get healthy and get back out there and do his thing. One of the smoothest jumpers on the team. Oh yeah, it's, so, uh, baby, it's so. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we've always been a b- big believer. Uh, especially, I mean, obviously, Brownell is a defense is one of the staples. And so, big believer in defense leads your offense. And so, you know, getting out and running, getting the ball out. And one of our biggest things we've been working on in, in practice is our thrust at our offense, getting rebounding going. Uh, we have multiple guys that bring the ball to the floor, pitch it ahead. I think Alex had, um, I know he hit one in the first half, but two or three wide open transition threes. Um, you know, it's, um, it's a big time for us to get out and run. That's where I think we're one of the best teams in the conference, yeah. Um, probably a little more consistent. Oh, yeah. yeah, a little yeah. more consistently fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, last year we we sometimes bring it up a little slower, but uh, I mean, still with that, we're we're still working on that. Oh, eight, yeah. eighty-five to fifty-five. And, yeah. yeah, we've had a full summer to really kind of work and just implement into our offense this year. So I think it's going to be it's going to definitely be a little bit faster. Knowing when to go fast and when to go slow yeah. for sure too. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty-two three-point attempts tonight. You mentioned Alex got a couple yeah. that were open in transition. Shot a good percentage, I think, forty-one percent from three. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it felt like everybody had the freedom to extend out to that three-point line in transition. And obviously, y'all got some fast-break dunks and layups as well. But yeah. is that an emphasis in the transition game? Is to find the open spot on the three-point line and let it fly? Yeah, I mean, it's a it's an equalizer. Yeah, Three ball, that's yeah. Best. you got to kind of pick your poison. Take away the inside game and give out give up outside shots, or take away the outside shots and try to try to try to hang it. Stay in yeah, the. It's a uh, you can't really guard both. I yeah. mean, whenever you go outside, we obviously have inside inside players. We have Wig, me, Boz, Ian. I mean, there's so many guys that can go inside. Even Jack, um, Chase, I'm a smaller guard. So many guys that can go inside. But then we have almost every player on the team can shoot the three ball too. Yeah. Yeah. You guys talked about Jack as a shooter, but for someone who barely practiced with you guys this off season, 
feels like he's fit in seamlessly. What can he provide to this team? He's just a he's just a great player that knows knows how to play his role and knows when to when to go fast, when to go slow. Uh, experience. Yeah, he just know he knows the game. Experience. Yeah, he's an experienced uh, three four, um, and cut, having that coming off the bench is you know it's Everybody. exactly re- being able to crash. He's a he's just a very very uh, versatile player that that we love. What did you guys think about RJ tonight? He was huge off the bench with some yeah. energy, defense, rebounds, all that. Yeah, dude's a pest. Um, he's one of the strongest people I know. It's ridiculous. He's like made a carbon fiber. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I remember he came in his freshman year. I mean, he's obviously a sophomore now, but freshman year, like first workout, he's repping like 285 on the bench. And I was like, God, <laughs> like it's it's ridiculous, man. So him getting up and down the floor, and he's got a motor like you wouldn't believe, and mm-hmm. just can run, put the pressure on the defense. Whenever you get out in transition on a rebound and he runs straight onto the rim, it just causes that defense to collapse because if you get an ISO post in the middle of the lane, I mean, it's a foul or two points, so yep. once you just you just miss it. Yeah, it's um, he's huge for us off the bench, a lot of energy. David, feel free to chime in if you got anything. No, I'm, I'm good. Thanks and ask everything. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know it's just one game, but do you guys look at the bench right now and say, man, we got a lot of different <clears throat> answers. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. The depth, being able to have guys uh, come off the bench that are experienced, um, it's just kind of coming in waves, you know. It's You have more uh, reinforcements than, than substitutions, being able to put guys in that know what they're doing and, and uh, that play hard. That's another one of our strengths. I mean, we obviously have, like I said, great passers, but so many guys that can come off the bench, provide offensively and then yeah. and defensively. I mean, we have guys – um, Jack came off the bench tonight. Um, every now and then, who knows if Wiggins up off the bench. Uh, Jack comes in to start. We have so many lineups that can come off. And then even freshmen, we need to Ace of Thomas at six seven. We have so much length coming off the bench. RJ at six eight. I mean, it's it's crazy. We have a lot of different ma- lineups and matchups we can set up. Um, early in the season. Yeah, yeah, early in the season. Yes, but I mean, we we mesh so well together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, since this, this summer, beginning of the summer, we've been such one unit. Um, hanging out off the court, going to eat, going to movies, hanging out, watching UFC fights. A lot of guys love that. Me and a lot of guys like to golf. That's That stuff helps us go out there and know how to play with each other, even though it's not ball. We uh, we just operate as one, and we uh, we really get along out there. And then, obviously, it translates to the court. Yeah. Any more questions for these guys? Mike, it's, it seems like as the game went on in the second half, you know, second part of the first half, it seemed like like you guys were getting a few calls, mm-hmm. calling fouls, which just normally happens, whether it's on defense with like rebounding or different things, but it was giving them kind of more opportunity to come back in and kind of bother you guys kind of when you mm-hmm. did kick off the first series, like kind of got some fans to sneak in and sit down. What was that, especially with all that defensive stuff? Yeah, I mean, with it being uh, primarily on the bigs, uh, I know I got a couple. Um, Boz had a couple on rebounds, and then RJ might have had one or two. But uh, <laughs> just making sure you're using our hips and not grabbing and stuff. Those keeping guys in games like that gives people life. And uh, whenever they're not scoring, that's uh, you can't give them foul shots. It's it's free points, especially if they're making them like they did. I mean, they shot 83% from 18 shots in the line, and a lot of those weren't on jump shots. Uh, so... The biggest thing is just kind of limiting those, making sure you're not doing any dumb fouls that also will take you out of the game. 